Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings for Capricorn in Leo season. Hello my Capricorns, how are you? Well, you know, when I do my longer readings, I use four decks. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message, John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards to kind of, you know, any fill in the gaps. Um, I ask advice from Osha Zen Tarot cards, and then I come back again to Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. What that means is I open myself up to my higher power and whatever the message is, hopefully for someone out there, it just comes through. Now, some things we need to talk about is, okay, I talked about July 20th. There is that new moon in Cancer. It's the second new moon in Cancer season. That's not real common. This is about second chances, especially around, you know, I feel especially around home and trust. But we've talked about that too, but this is that new moon, okay? So second chances. Now we're going into Leo season on July 22nd. It starts at 4.37 Eastern Standard Time, and all the times will be Eastern Standard Time in the morning. Then on the 3rd of August is the full moon, and that will be in Aquarius. Aquarius wants to like blow down all the negativity. It wants, you know, it's very independent, but it likes us, hey, let's, let's get all this stuff out of here. That's at 11.58 a.m. 18th of August is another new moon, but this is in Leo, and that will be at 10.41 p.m. Now, we also then, August 22nd, Virgo season starts at 11.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Couple of things to note is, okay, one thing is Mercury is not retrograde during Leo season, which is very good. Um, the other is that Mars went into, you know, Aries on June 28th. So we're going to have Mars in Aries and Leo in Sun. So, you know, Mars is Aries, Aries is Mars, Leo is the Sun, Sun is Leo. Both at the same time, it will give a really strong energy. Um, you know, it could, you know, and you know, you up being the earth sign, you, you, you know, you could possibly be just absorbing that sun, whether north or south hemisphere, you know, and just let, let things grow, okay? I will post that website that I like, you know, very positive messages. So I will post that in the community page and on Facebook. Now, we have three planets that are direct, Mercury, yay, Venus, and Mars. Five planets are retrograde. Jupiter, Saturn, now Uranus, it says, you know, what I read was that it goes direct from 8.1 to 8.15 and then goes back. And then we have Neptune and Pluto. So Uranus is all about expect the unexpected. So it'll be very, very interesting to see what happens during that time. Okay, so I have three cards face down. The third one's reversed. So let's see what we have for Capricorn in Leo season. First card up. Here we have the three of water. Now, water energy is our Scorpio, Pisces. It's our Cancer. It's emotional. It is fluid. There's also some psychic um, intuition with this. Threes are about creativity, celebration. This is all very positive emotional energy for you. This is, you know, kind of like, um, like, like, you know, like the um, weight is being lifted off of your shoulders. And I know we're still living in very strange time, but I'm feeling like you're, you know, when when that July 22nd comes around, I'm feeling like you're going to feel that, I'm feeling like you're going to feel, but you're going to um, experience a rejuvenation of optimism. You're going to kind of go, hey, you know, we're, we're going forward. Things are getting better. I'm feeling like, you know, like I said, the sun is shining on the earth, Okay. A celebration, a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. So, you know, get out there. Get out there. I, you know, even if you have to do something, you know, with go ride a bike if, if you know how to ride a bike and you have all the proper gear. But go do something fun. Go do something, you know, that that's going to enrich your soul. Okay, my Capricorns, you've been needing that. You've been needing that. Your next card up is the Two of Air. Now, air energy is our Libra. It's our Aquarius, the full moon. 
and it's Gemini. It's our thought processes. It's also our words. You know, it's also those downloads, those that kind of that Wi-Fi thoughts that come into our head. It's very sharp. It's very th strategic. It's, you know, and two is kind of this cooperation. There's like this joining. There's this, you know, is this this balance? So this is about, you know, I'm feeling like for my Capricorns, while thinking, well, you know, I feel kind of like you have a jaunty step, like you're feeling, yeah, things are going well. But the thing is, you're still looking out for that, um, that, that opportunity. You're still looking at, you know, you're still thinking clearly and you're looking at what it is you want. Your words are going to be really out there too. You're going to be, you know, you're going to be using those words. Now, whether the words are going to be verbal or you're going to type them, but, you know, so this could definitely be about you putting out your resumes. Maybe there's going to be this job opportunity, job offer. Um, but I'm really feeling that you are, you know, I'm feeling that you're feeling, I'm feeling a, a, a sense of optimism in, in, in your general energies, okay? Now, the thing about this one card, though, they'll say is that, you know, so maybe you're going to have multiple opportunities coming to you, okay? Because this card will tell you that, you know, it's going to be hard to make a decision. It's hard for you to make a decision. Do I not do anything, which is a decision? Do I choose this way, which is a decision? Do I choose this way, that it's a decision? So it looks like, even though this is a two, you could actually have three opportunities. One opportunity is to do nothing. Another opportunity, you know, or the other two opportunities. So, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. I feel it's more a case of, though, you know, and, and, you know, like, you know, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling good. Do I want to rock the boat? Do I want to rock the boat? Okay. So to me, you know, again, even though these are words or thoughts, everything like that, I feel if you're looking for that job, if you're looking for you know, if you've been putting those resumes out, you might actually have a couple come in that you're going to have to make some decisions. Or you might actually have, I don't know, three jobs. Okay, here we go. Last card. This one is reversed. Here we go. The Eight of Water. Now, again, it's that water energy. And this is about, you know, this is about I've stayed too long at the fair. I, I, I you know, so maybe this is that, maybe this is the one thing that you're doing. And now it's like, no. Again, optimism. I want to move on. I can't stay here anymore. There's an emotional connection that's just kind of feeling like, you know, it's like your shoe is too tight. You know, you're wearing a too, you're wearing shoes that are too tight. And I want to get my feet out and I want to just get out of here. Okay? So, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Okay? So, you know, so there might be whatever this is, these three jobs, maybe you've got, you know, maybe these three jobs, they're not feeding your soul. They are bringing you that money, you know, and like, you know, I'm always saying that, you know, I don't worry about money for Capricorns because you'll work hard for it, but maybe it's just not satisfying to you. So maybe that's why you're looking at these other opportunities, um, you know, and the thing is, though, that three of water is like, hey, you know what? I can, opportunities are opening up again at least for me, okay, you know, the sun, you know, this Leo and this Aries energy, you know, so I think that, I think again, I, with you, my Capricorns, I feel like the sun is shining on your earth, okay, so let's go on, here we go, one, two, and three, any kind of clarification, face down, here we go, okay, reversed, this is the base chakra. It's also number one. Now the base chakra, so from the base, which is, you know, down here, you can look up chakra and you'll know a little more about it. They are energy sources. From the base to the heart is more of your natural. Your heart, yes, it's again your heart, to your crown is the supernatural. So your heart goes back, you know, has a little, has that natural and supernatural. This is all about home, family. This is what makes you feel secure. But there's a one with this also. So there is this sense of creating, possible, you know, creating security or feeling secure in this. Okay, red has this fiery hue to it. You know, so I'm thinking that this also is connecting with that, with the fact that we're in Leo, fire sign, passionate burning so again it's fine you know it's fine now you had that emotional energy with the water but this is kind of that passionate energy too so not only is there you know maybe there's something missing that you've been wanting to go after 
but this also is the fire and this is also but you also want to make sure that you're feeling secure so if this is that new job it better not only just pay your bills it, it better um you know create an emotional it, uh, it should fill an emotional void but it also should make you feel passionate like i want to get up every day and go to work okay a lot of things with that one okay here we go our second card is here we go again reversed rest and rejuvenation you know that you know remember there's there could be some difficulty with making some of the decisions because of these offers that are coming in for you if this is what it is remember relationships could be for your job work career could be personal intimate or interpersonal could be family or home also so when i talk about this i tend to go more towards the job and work or career but it could be any of those so what you need to do though with these opportunities so maybe there's a couple of uh intimate relationships that are on your horizon because you know the water energy is very emotional energy so it could be an intimate um generally it's more work with uh more work or career with my capricorns but we'll, we'll go there okay so you need to step back you need to meditate you need to connect you know of course can't go through a reading without saying you need to connect with your higher power, guardian angels, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is to you. And that's the way that you get aim, you get aim, um, I, I want to say angels, but answers is what I want to say, but angels kept coming out of my mouth. So, you know, so connect with your angels. Okay. Now, next, last card. Here we go. Triumph. Triumph. Seven, very heavenly, very supernatural number running into, you know, things triumphant going for your goals, going for, you know, what it is you've been wanting, things happening for you. So again, you know, like I said, the sun is shining on your earth. Okay. I keep getting that. I know because it keeps coming through to me. Anyway, let's go on Osha Zentero for any words of advice for my Capricorns. Here we go. Let's go ahead and cut. And we have one, two, and three face down. These are always challenging because, yeah, face down. Here we go. First card up. Ah, understanding. This is really, this is looking at things, you know, this is kind of looking at things in a different perspective. This is looking at things and seeing maybe the reality. Maybe what you've been, you, what you thought was real isn't quite real. In this card, this is really interesting because in this card, or the story behind this card is that this bird felt like it was trapped. And in reality, it wasn't trapped. It never really was trapped. So with that, you had, you know, the bird had to look at things differently. And by looking at them, saw the way to join the other birds. Okay, so let's go to your next card politics oh there's one thing that my capricorns can play but they hate playing it they can ha they hate playing with politics but if anyone's going to do this you can do it but remember you know politics is a game <sighs> what does this mean is this one of these opportunities or the opportunity you're in already you know or the relationship it, there's always the games that we play um, the thing about my Capricorns, while you can play it and you can play it well, you don't want to. You don't want to be playing the game. Those are some choices. Those are your choices, okay? I don't like playing the game either. I don't either. And usually, usually that doesn't work well for me when I was in the corporate or when I was in the work world. Okay, so last card here. Okay. We have the lovers. So there's, again, there's duality. Remember, we had the two of air. There's that, you know, those choices. Lovers are also, lovers, it could be that there is that emotional connection. It is. It could be that you actually find that, that you know, that one of those three that makes that connection. You know, part of this could be that choice between what is going to bring you that fulfillment. Because that's really, during the Leo season, Again, you know, I know we talked about the sun on the earth, but Leo season is going to be a great time to look for that emotional fulfillment for my Capricorns. Okay? Okay. So, 
Let's go on. Now on this one, this is a six, six again, celebration, celebration. So there will be something to celebrate about. So it does look like you not only it's a good time, it actually looks like it happens, okay? And, you know, it doesn't mean though that it's just gonna be for Leo season either. So let's go on one, two, and three. My Archangel Power Tarot cards. All three are reversed. So let's see what we have for my Capricorns. Here we go. The Knight of Raphael. Raphael is that water energy again. Okay, so very fluid, emotional, psychic type of energy. Knights, directional. Sometimes they need some direction. So you need, you may need to. You may be working with somebody that you need to be gentle and caring and kind of guide them a little bit, especially if it's a romantic or you may need the direction. You might just want to come in and just kind of lay down your cards and it's kind of like, no, we don't want to play cards just yet. We don't, Hey, we needed to meet each other first, okay? So, you know, that would be with the politics. Okay, so anyway, direct, you know, the Knight of Raphael, intuitive, directional, water, emotional, relationship. This is romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet. So that would be kind of the thing. So you've got, you have a lot of emotional cards here too. And you know, that politics, you might, you know, like I said, you might not want to play games, but you might have to. You might want to move a little bit faster, but you should, you know, the other person may need you to slow down. Um, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Your next card, all of these again, reversed, here we go. The six of Raphael. Now, again, water energy. Six are, six has really positive type of energy. It's like, you know, victor, victorious. There is celebratory energy with this too. But the six of Raphael is also looking back a little bit. It's kind of, you know, it's dealing with children. It's dealing with the past. It's, you know, so somebody, is it somebody from the past that comes to you? Or, or is it in remembrance of the past? So maybe it's not somebody that comes to you, but maybe it's something, somebody, something, or it could be that job too, um, that makes you remember, you know, this is what I wanted when, you know, this is what I wanted way back when, okay? So there is that. There's this remembrance of, or remembrance of the past. Embrace your inner child. So this is also telling you to have, you know, to be a little bit more spontaneous and have a little more fun. Um, new, oh yeah, so this might say that you should move fast. Okay, I know that's I'm, now I'm I'm going back and forth. New friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. Last card again reversed. Here we go. The three of Michael. So Michael is that air energy again. Thoughts, words. Believe in you. Believe in yourself. Okay, so. Release the past, release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. Now, you know, this is also that heart with those swords, but I really, when I saw this, it was believe in you, okay? That's gone, believe in you. You've been through the wars, my Capricorns. You are more than ready to win, to win this battle if there is even a battle. You know, because, you know, you believe in you. Let things go. Believe in you, especially all this moon energy, but that second chance moon, all of this. So in many ways, I mean, very, very positive. Very, there is this emotional component to this. Multiple opportunities coming to you. And, you know, is it work? Is it romantic? Is it something to do with your family? It could. It could be. So, you know... What are you going to do, my Capricorns? Yeah. Anyway, my Capricorns, if you enjoy my readings, I hope you do. Remember the buttons, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff, because it does help to support my channel. As always, my Capricorns, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.